this first. Welcome to the Ron and Dale show. Hello everybody. It's been a little while. We're still technical difficulties and so forth. I don't have a lot of patience with technical difficulties. But anyway, we're going to try this and see how it works out. Of course, if it doesn't work out, you won't know because it won't put it up. So, <laughs> kind of a moot point. Uh, let's see, what are we going to do today? We're going to do the... Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about... Uh, yeah, some stuff going on with the, with the FDA, some things like that. We'll do the usual song and poetry, uh, the, the awareness expanding minute, and then uh, t-shirts. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take it. Um, okay. One of the things, it's, it, it's on Facebook a lot anyway, and I know it's in the news some today. It uh, depends on what you keep up with. Um, I use a lot of uh, herbal remedies and natural, what you call natural stuff, I guess. Um, rather than medication whenever I can. And what's happening now is uh, there's several things the FDA is trying to do to uh, basically ban uh, herbal supplements, uh, Kratom being one that they're really attacking right now, but there are others um, that they're going after uh, to try to ban them um, so that you can no longer have access to homeopathic medicine, to natural, any kind of remedy that you want to try, this so-called alternative medicine. Um, they are really, really uh, going after that now. And, of course, the motive behind it is not a secret. Um, and there's a lot of stuff out about that now. It's the pharmaceutical companies afraid to lose money. Um, they've created a huge opiate crisis. Uh, the pharmaceutical companies have by over-prescribing and you know, over-promoting and that kind of thing. And so now we have a bunch of people trying to get off opiates and other things, just get away from some of the medicines that are so damaging. I myself take uh, uh, Kratom and some other uh, herbs for uh, pain from osteoarthritis because I cannot tolerate any medicine they give me. Any of the, uh, the anti-inflammatories, or NASEDs, I think they're called, I can't tolerate them to tear my stomach up. Um, and I know now there are a lot of people, there's one I talked with on Facebook not long ago that now has kidney damage um, from taking those so long. But anyway, the pharmaceutical companies don't want us to have access to free access to the alternative uh, medications. Now, what they'll do is tell you that uh, they haven't been studied. Uh, we don't know everything about them or the side effects. But let me ask you something. Did, did the medications they put on the market actually been studied that well after we see what happens with most of them? They haven't. When recently I took a painkiller, it made me sick. It was a prescription yeah. painkiller. It was awful. Yeah, they may, yeah they'll make you sick. So they, they, they target one problem and cause a bunch of others. Uh, the more natural remedies tend not to do that. And for me, they work fine, uh, the, the natural remedies. But I would just say, if you're, if you're one, of the, one of those people who uses that type of stuff, I'm not knocking the medical industry or anything like that. There's plenty of the antibiotics have been a lifesaver for many people. Many medications are. But there's a balance to be achieved in there, and it's way out of balance on the side of uh, big pharmacy right now, where they're in much too, way too much control. They basically own the FDA, so you know the FDA will do any any insane thing to uh, make a natural uh, remedy look bad. But anyway, I'm on board with uh, kind. Of, I don't usually get into politics, but I am on board <laughs> with uh, with uh, getting some awareness out there about this. And if you find an opportunity to sign a petition or do whatever write your congressman or something like that. Those things do do work sometimes. Uh, they tried to schedule Kratom uh, back in 2016, I think it was, and, and public outcry stopped it. So you probably need to do that uh, if you're using natural remedies or if you're looking at those things um, because they're no more dangerous than taking your, well, a lot of times less dangerous than taking pharmaceuticals from that you can get from the doctor from pharmacy companies. And again, I'm not knocking modern medicine at all. Um, there's a, but there's just a balance to be achieved there. And remember, the pharmaceutical companies are in it for profit. Whenever you're in medicine for profit, the patient becomes secondary. Profit is first. Don't ever mistake that. If you have a for-profit hospital, it is there to make money, not care for you. That is the bottom line on that, sad as that sounds. 
But that is what happens when you have for profit going on. Nothing wrong with making a profit, but that will be their major concern. So, you know, why would they cure something when they can profit from <laughs> medicating you for the rest of your life uh, on it? So that's, you know, one of the things we run into. Anyway, that's just kind of my rant on that. Um, well, it's I don't really like, been helpful to you. It's amazing. Yeah, you got off yeah. ibuprofen daily. Yes. And, and you haven't had to take it since. Yeah, I'm not, this. yeah, I take just all herbal pain remedies, and they work fine. I don't have any rebound effect, no withdrawal effect, uh, no bad side effects from it. They just work, um, and that works better for me. But yeah, I, this this is one thing that I do feel strongly about. As I said, I don't usually get involved in politics, but it would be something to keep an eye on because. I think we should have the freedom to choose how we want to care for ourselves and what kind of medical or what kind of medicine we want to access. Right now, there are a lot of, there's a lot in uh, about legalizing marijuana. That would be fantastic. It's helpful for a lot of things. You know, I think that's great. Uh, it's not. It doesn't really cause any anything near what alcohol does. The problems alcohol causes <laughs> are way beyond anything that marijuana has ever caused. Uh, even though public perception of it might be kind of bad, that's basically because uh, it was. Uh, Again, FDA, from big pharmacy, putting it out there as being this evil thing. It's just a weed that grows. You prepare it, you make it, and it, and it, can, it does help with pain and several other conditions. Anyway, that's my rant for today. I'll move along, but I do encourage you to uh, keep up with that, check into it. If you can take a little action, uh, please do. Uh, if you value your freedom to choose how you decide your health care. All right. Okay, and we'll try to keep this at 15 minutes. That seems to work best for viewer, viewer involvement. Go ahead. Yeah, let's be difficult. Poem now. Okay, we'll do a poem, it's, and it's called A Guest in the House. Oh. And I'll go ahead and start. Invited into the house, many rooms to explore, openings to be granted, steps to be planted. The carpet rolls out, entrance to a soul, feeling the essence from head to toe. An endless rug from room to room, cushioning love, occasional grime. Cleanse with patience and acceptance, greets all within time. Rooms fill up with furnishings, none to be ignored. The offerings are complete as the two hearts beat. No longer a guest, now is one, a place they rest. Sounds like you're talking about us. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I guess yeah. a lot of my poems come from us. Well, yeah, I mean, more of your stuff makes it in yeah. here now and then. Yeah. You know, I got more yeah. stuff of yours, like in my yeah. medicine cabinet and stuff I don't recognize, <laughs> and in the closet, things like that. And I've started leaving stuff at your house. Yeah. Someday we might get it all together into one. <laughs> oh, blend, the blending. The, the, the blending. blending. That's the idea. All right, beautiful. beautiful. Transition. Oh, the transition, yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to play a song, it's on my new CD called Heart Like Mine, um, and it's the first song on the new CD. Tongue is tied. It wasn't in a 
see the screen up there for time expanding your mind well I know yeah but I don't know how much time we have left um, so I'll make the expanding awareness minute pretty quick here uh, basically um, there's volumes written about this uh, but if you can remember one thing you are not what you think and not to identify with your thoughts not to identify with your role in life not to identify with anything that you're doing or saying because all of that changes, all that flows through you. And so anything you identify with will change. So it's not you, it's not who you are. Um, the best idea is to look at all these things that you identify with and find out who is it that's identifying with them. Now, who's that? Who's that thing that's always there? Who's that thing, that, what is that thing that's been there since you've been, as long as you can remember, you look in the mirror, you don't feel your age usually. Unless you drank too much, you know, then you can. <laughs> but, you know, most of the time you don't feel your age. You know, your body may be aging, but there's something in you that is you that never ages. It always has that feeling of being young. It always has that feeling of being curious. Um, the only thing that takes that away is when you get caught up and identified with certain roles. If you get caught up in depression, you get caught up in anxiety, you get caught up in too much pleasure, you get caught up in too much money and success, those things all pass, and so then they become a torture later on when they pass. Yeah. Or you think it's gonna be better when you're not depressed, then you become happy, and then it still doesn't work out. But it's, it's that thing that when you look in the mirror, it's always there, it's been there forever. And that's why people say, you know, I might be 70 years old, but inside I don't feel any different. That's it. I get it. That's that thing inside you. And so watch, the, watch what you identify with. Realize it's fine to play your roles, have fun with your role, be mad, jump around, be happy, whatever, cry, laugh. That's what we're here for. But just, just try not to identify with any of it. When it goes, go. Let it go. When it comes, let it come. When it goes, let it go. And that's all I have on that. Um, what do we owe you? Yes. Our t-shirt. Yes, I will hold it up. Special. We disagree on the price. <laughs> yeah, we've had your face, huh? <laughs> 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 Don't hide your face. Yeah, we disagree on the price somewhere. I'm for seventy-five dollars each, although we did sell one for twenty. And so, we will both sell another one for twenty. Okay, we'll do twenty. Okay, all right. Or three for seventy-five. What a deal! I love yes. Ron and Dale. I yeah. think I want you to have one of these. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you never know. If the show gets real big, that might be a collector's item. Yeah. yeah. All right. What have we got left here? Okay. Yes. Well, thank you very much uh, for tuning in. To the lovers and the haters. Lovers and the haters. Yes. Yeah. But we have more lovers than haters. I can say that. Yeah, there's a lot more lovers and haters. Um, the haters, thank you. If you did stop by to watch us and you had something nasty to say, thank you for taking time out of your day to give us some input. It takes a lot of energy to hate. Much less energy to love. <laughs> All right. Well, um, do we need to end? Uh, I think that's it for today. All right, Until our next it. show. All right, that's it for today. And maybe our next show I can participate. Well, in. you're supposed to, eventually, Dale's yes. going to be doing some percussion. We've been working on 
having the maracas and the and the tambourine. Yeah, yeah. And the other one I can't even remember. Those eggs, things, <laughs> the eggs, and the one with the rollers. So yeah, I don't know what half of it's called yet, but there's a lot of cool so. stuff. So we're going to be incorporating some That's of that great. eventually in here yeah. too. So let me go ahead. I'll take the take us out here on that uh, that song. I do, I'm soul to soul.